Hey Warriors, today we are going to implement OpenAI API to get Dolly 3 images and we are going to do it inside the Next.js app using server actions. Let me show you a couple of examples what Dolly 3 can do. So this one here was just a simple sentence, orc working on a computer, and I did not ask for skulls, crystals or runes or anything else in this room, everything was decided by OpenAI. Same thing in this different example, it was the completely same sentence or working on a computer, but totally different ambient. OpenAI here gave something totally different than the first example. Also, I created a couple of landscape examples so you can see the level of details and what you get here, like with the big picture. And also here with like some town with a big giant scene in the distance. And also you can create logos. Basically you can create whatever you want and in whatever artistic style you want. Everything you need to do is just to write down to OpenAI API what you need in your turn and it will give it to you. Let's now create code to do that and to see what are we going to get. As always we start from fresh Next.js app and first thing we are going to do is to create the environment example file where we are going to put our OpenAI API key and we are going to copy that one to create the real file which is going to be used in the project and there I'm going to copy paste my actual OpenAI API key. I'm just not going to show it now because I don't want it to get revealed. So now let's create our server action to actually get the Dolly3 method. So I'm going to create lib folder and there I'm going to create OpenAI TypeScript file and here we are going to set use server. Now I'm going to use Orkish OpenAI connector. That's a small package created by me and it's really simple to do it. You just install the package and then you just implement it like this. It's really super simple and I'll also show you how to do it without the package if you want. And here we put our OpenAI API key. So that's in our case in the environment file, OpenAI API key. And it's complaining because it should be there. It cannot be undefined. So we can just put if not our API key, if it's not there, API key, then we can just throw whatever, like no API key. Let's just put no open AI API key. Okay, that looks good. So we don't need this one. And here also you can see how easy it is. You just put this, that's like the simple method for getting the Dolly 3 image. And we are going to create it, to create a method for that one. So export, let's call it get dolly3 image as a function, which is receiving a prompt as a string. And we just return this one like this. And instead of this one, we put a prompt and something is not working, probably this one. <laughs> and it should be a sync function. Yes, this now looks good. We can close the terminal. This is how it looks under the hood. It's just a simple method that is shooting the OpenAI API. And only thing it's different is that you get rid of these like headers and things like that. You just insert your API key and image model is by default Dolly 3 and image resolution is, I'm not sure now which exactly, but there is some default image and you can change those two things here in the, what's it called? Get Dolly 3 image method. So here we can just put the resolution 
and it can be yeah i think this one is the default resolution but we can just leave it everything on default and continue and try out how are we going to implement this inside the component so now we can go to our page and also here to return and we are going to the field delete the default stuff this one and we are going to remove the minimum screen thingy that one works and here we are going to create our image component so let's quickly create the components folder and inside we can create the dolly 3 image.tsx and that one is going to be the functional component like this and for now let's just return one simple age one like this dolly 3 image to test it out so here we put the dolly 3 image and that one is working so we can now continue with this one so this one is going to be a client component so we are going to put use client and we are going to need an input let's put it here so here we are going to put the prompt which we are going to send to OpenAI. let's make it just a little bit nicer with some padding so it looks a little bit better also with some width okay and here we can put class name flex and flex column to put a little bit of gap and also to justify everything to center and also items center like this nice now we need a state for our prompt we're going to call it prompt and set prompt and we're going to use use state hook by react and that one is going to be type string and in the beginning it is going to be empty and we are going to put a value here our prompt inside the input and also on change we are going to take the event and set prompt to events.target.value this one looks nice now we can create a function we are going to call it handle dolly 3 and that one is going to be a sync like this and inside we are going to search for the result of our get open no what we called it here inside the get dolly 3 image so this one from the lib folder and we are going to use our prompt that we have here so that one is going to be saved inside new state we can call it ai result and set ai result that's also use state string so that is going to be our url to the image from openai and we can here set ai result to result and before that because this one is going to take a while we can create also the loading and set loading state and that's going to be boolean and by default it's going to be false so here we can put set loading to true and when that one is finished we can put to false and after that we are going to get the result so now here we can put if our lo loading is true in that case we can just put some h2 loading and in case our ai result is there 
we are going to put the image component by next and there we are going to put width of 1000 and height of 1000 and source is going to be our AI result and only thing missing is the alt which is going to be AI image like this so this one now looks great except one thing we don't have a button so here below we're going to put a button get image and on click we are going to call the handle dolly 3 and let's test it out let's see just a second this one is annoying me we're going to put p3 and some background slate 400 okay little bit better 300 much better so let's try now let's uh, i think that i'm boring a little bit with these orcs but let's try some high of oh no i have a problem in the input let's put text black that's probably yes so let's put high elf wizard working on a computer so let's see what are we going to get first thing let's see if it's going to work and then to see if elves look better than orcs it's still loading so it's doing something i think oh okay invalid source prop oh yes we need to add we need to add this one the url to our next config let's do that one quickly okay so i'm going to take this url from here and we're going to open the next config.mjs and here we're going to put images then open an object and their remote patterns and here it should be an array of all the host names we need so protocol should be https yes here it's https and the host name should be what i copied from here without the https part and this one so like this it should work let's try it now from the beginning so hi elf wizards working on a computer and let's hope it is going to work now i think now we have everything we need and let's hope that high elf is going to be less powerful than orc is this image component going to work i think yes yes here it is oh and this is why i'm orc dev and not elf dev uh, but anyway this one looks amazing let me make this one bigger for you to see so the level of details is again really great and this blue eyes and his computer and everything so let's try something now again let's try orcish warrior being better than high elf wizards on a computer let's see what are we going to get but this elf and this hairstyle it's really weird oh yes and the fingers look like okay-ish they are not perfect but much better than before and the background everything looks really nice let's see what are we going to get now oh well it's not like that warrior is better but uh, yeah looks okay <laughs> everything from here you have in my ai framework which is on my github account i'll put the link in the comment below you can use it for free if you want and also there you have the completion with chat gpt4 and also the dolly 3 images and also you have a sign up with next auth and there is going to be a token system with stripe and a logo and everything you need to start your own ai project subscribe warriors and try using dolly 3 images yourself i am personally really impressed how they look and i think you should try it out